Hello, I'm Ken Dorn with SWD. I'm one of the techs. Today we're going to cover the breakdown and the operation of the Fusion AP gun and the new one, the Fusion PC gun. The guns themselves are air powered. From here back, they're basically the same. So troubleshooting the back part of the gun is going to be the same for the PC. We're going to do a little bit of a breakdown on it. Okay, you have a safety which keeps the piston from coming back, which keeps the mixing chamber from aligning with the side seals. You got your standard air cap, and it's interchangeable from the PC to this one. Fluid housing. And mixing chamber. About these side seals here. I'll show you those. The way the gun operates, air comes in to your trigger assembly. As you move the trigger, the spool moves, which aligns the holes in the actual gun assembly, which you may not be able to see. But there's three holes. Two of them go straight up, one goes at an angle. The two that go straight up control this piston here. Anytime you put the gun together after an issue you want to clean the gun you want to make sure this piston moves freely okay you put the piston in put your end cap on safety cap put air to the gun trigger the assembly the piston should move fairly quick if it doesn't go back one of the things I've seen some of the crews do they put the gun in a vise like this and they squeeze this which makes it oblong which makes the piston bind up don't do that. If you're going to put it in a vise, put it by the handle. The mixing chamber has, it tells you what the size is on the top, but everything on the gun is marked A, one way or another. It's got either indentation or an actual label of A. If you ever wonder what the A side is on your mixing chamber and you can't read the writing on the top, there's a little indentation. That indentation is the A side. So you put it in. Your side seals are spring loaded. Anytime you get a gun or you rebuild a gun, you always make sure that these go down. Because sometimes if you get it, they may be cocked a little bit. And when you put it in there, you're going to scratch the mixing chamber right from the get go. This is one of the things that people get confused about these parts are interchangeable when they're new parts if you use one on the a side it has to stay on the a side do not say well i cleaned it really really good i'm going to put it on the b side you're going to have issues and the gun's going to cross over on your check valves they're mark a and b one of the things that I like looking at when I do talk to people, there's a little set screw right here. The set screw's gotta be even with the top. This one here, if you notice, it's farther down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to the factory specs it's gonna be at. It should be at, okay? This is your fluid housing. The fluid comes up through your check valve goes at an angle to your side seals. That's what pressurizes it. When you put the gun together, every time you put a piece on the gun, you always put air to it. So if I had an air tank right here, I would put air to it, trigger it, to see if it's working fine. As I'm adding parts, every time I add a part, put the side seal on, A and B. Put the nose cap on, trigger it. If it doesn't work right or it's really slow, go back and find out what happened because it's supposed to be triggering fast. You don't want to pull the trigger and say 1001 and all of a sudden it starts spraying on you. The air cap has four holes. 
here, 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 and here. What that does, this is called an air purge. And the reason it's an air purge is air comes in the gun. Remember I talked about the two holes right here make the piston go backwards and forward. The third hole comes like this at an angle, which pressurizes this with air. Air comes around this and around the tip. When you pull the trigger, the piston goes back into the gun like that, and air comes around here, and that's what keeps the gun tip clean. You always make sure if you're not holding the gun, the safety's on. That makes sure in case you drop it or somebody grabs the gun and triggers it, you're not gonna spray anybody. There's an air valve right here. And what that does, this is pressurized in front of the gun. This controls the amount of pressure that comes out around this mixing chamber and around the cap. Okay, by factory specs, it's supposed to be closed, open to a quarter to a half a turn. Once you get that done, then you turn around and you're gonna put your screen check valves in. You wanna make sure these screens are cleaned. There's no obstruction that's there, just clean it off. Push them in, push them in. At that time, do not put air to this. If you put air to this and pull this trigger, these are gonna pop out. Okay, everybody has, a, usually they wait till they get out to the job and they plug it into the air, they'll have it already hooked to the gun block. This is your gun block. These valves here are what control the fluid to the gun. Anytime you have to work on these, you have to replace these. When in fact, Graco sends you the replacements, open them. If you don't open them and you tighten, it, tighten this down, you're gonna mushroom this. The gun's not gonna seal. Okay, so you always make sure these are open and you connect it, okay? These are flexible. A lot of people will have these pointed down um, and have valves right here. It doesn't matter whatever way you're used to spraying, you can have the hoses come down or come straight back. On this right here, it has a muffler. It's got a little screen in it. When it gets clogged, it starts screeching. Half the time people pop the screen out. This air valve right here is what pushes your trigger assembly. You have two positions you can put this in. It can be here or here. Some people like the hose coming straight back. Some people like it coming down. It's up to the user's discretion. The main problem I find with this gun here is when you're spraying and you hear a clicking sound or popping sound every time you pull the trigger and release the trigger. What's happening is material is building around that mixing chamber. When it builds around the mixing chamber, it causes it to bind up. So as the air comes up here to push this piston, it'll get so far, so far and pressurize it to where it finally pops back. Then when you release the trigger, it pops forward. When you hear that, the best thing to do is stop, look at your mixing chamber and clean it. If you do have a crossover, the purpose of these check valves is to keep the material from going into your hose. So, you know, you wanna make sure that you do have these in when you spray. You also wanna make sure, I also recommend screens because the little ports on your mixing chamber are small. The impingement ports are small. If you get anything in there, you will have crossover. If you have off ratio on your machine, you're getting E24 trying to figure out what it is. Look at the high side. Whatever the high side of the machine is, that's the side you want to check the screens because that's the restriction. There's a restriction there. This gun here is basically the same from here back. It's the same as this. Same exact thing. You have a safety, spool, trigger assembly, piston. The big thing about this one is Graco came out and what they did is they made an interchangeable if I can get it apart 
assembly. So if you had an issue with your side seals here, you can rebuild this gun. You can rebuild the whole front of it part by part. Graco came out and decided that it would behoove them to make a gun to where you can just pop this off. And if something happens, that's what you pop off. That has your side seals already included in it. So all you have to do is if you're spraying, you have an issue, you pop that off. After you figure it out that you do have an issue, pop this off and put a new one on. The mixing chambers aren't interchangeable. As you notice, it's a bigger mixing chamber. Uh, it has the same size as these, 29s, 42, 47, 52, 60s. Um, it's real heavy duty. You cannot scratch this thing. Putting this together, if you look at the front, when this slides in, there's three holes. It can only go in one way. You can't flip it over, it's not gonna work. It only slides in one way. Slides in just like that. Check valves are the same as the normal AP Fusion gun, A and B. Those you can change out. Putting this together is the same as putting a regular gun together. Tighten it down. And then the, the only difference is, we're here, I'd have to put in the side seals. They're already here and here. Just slide this on it. Pop it down, pops in, it locks in. Cover goes over it. The air cap, it's interchangeable. So instead of 35 to 40 minutes overhauling that gun, you can overhaul a gun in less than five minutes. All you gotta do is take this off, take it in probably less than a minute if you wanted to, if you knew what you're doing. Uh, the main thing is when you do do that, Make sure your valves are closed, okay? Anytime you work with the gun, safety's on, valves are closed, then you can, it's safe. Treat it like a arm, a regular weapon, if you would. Um, parts down here, like I said, everything's interchangeable from here back in the handle, if you have to. Uh, this has the same requirement, quarter to a half a turn on this, after you get done. Um, this gun was made to make it easier for people. If you got a job, you're doing a 20 set job and you need to get off the job as fast as possible. Yes, you're not gonna waste time having to rebuild this gun. You just pop this off, put a new one on and keep on going. Um, these, they do not sell replacement parts because these are cast into plastic. Um, you may be able to soak them and clean them a little bit. Um, it's got O-rings on it. So if you watch it, you know, just if you're gonna clean it, clean it, take it off, blow it dry. The mixing chamber is corbide coated, which makes it hard as anything to scratch. That's why usually everybody worries about when they got mixing chambers, you'll scratch the mixing chamber with the side seals when you're putting it together. These right here, it's made to hit. It's got a little angle on the top of it, which angles your side seals over the mixing chamber. Pressure are the same. Um, this gun's a little bit longer, and I'll show you the difference. And it's about, about a quarter inch longer in the front. Uh, Weight-wise, it's really not that bad. Weight-wise, it is a little heavier, it pulls down on you. But as you can see, it's about a quarter inch longer. That's the only difference because of that slide-on piece. Um, these right here, you know, keep these, uh, if you don't use it, if you already have it and you're just using it, keep these as a spare. Um, like I said, you always want to make sure that these are open prior to changing these out because you don't want to have this all the way down and it's true it and mushroom that. If you mushroom that, it's not going to seal against the O-rings. Uh, you do standard. Graco shutdown procedures for greasing the gun for both of them. Um, 
And that's basically it. The, uh, the main issues people have with the guns, um, they'll start having off ratio. 99.9% um, .9 of the problems when you're spraying is in the gun. Okay? It's gonna be your side seal is your mixing chamber. Most of the time it's your mixing chamber. Uh, you have side ports on it, the impingement ports. One of the things I tell everybody, when you do do an overhaul or clean it, make sure those are clean. They're not supposed to line straight up. They're supposed to be a little bit of an angle to where the fluid, when it hits, it swirls. Let me take this mixing chamber out and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. This is your main point right here. You have an impingement point, which is a little hole on the side. And you got a little hole on the side. You can see through it. It looks like a half crescent sometimes. Uh, if you see a full moon, I wouldn't use it. I'd have to look at it and figure out saying, okay, if you put the little drill bit they give you, the impingement drill bit, it should not go through this. If it goes through all the way through, something's wrong. You got the wrong drill bit or there's something wrong with the mixing chamber. Do not use it because instead of a swirl pattern, it's going to come in like this and splash and you're going to have issues. There's an O-ring in the front of this gun. If you, uh, and I'll show you, put this in right. There's an O-ring right here. This black part here, if it's damaged, do not use it because you're gonna cross the gun over. What happens is that little O-ring, that lip right there, it sits in there. As your mixing chamber goes in and out, it goes against that. As it goes against that, it goes back forward to stop spraying, that O-ring will come out. If the O-ring comes out, your mixing chamber falls just a tiny little bit just enough to where material leaks out from the side seals and you'll have a crossover. You might get three or four trigger pulls and then you'll have a crossover. There's an air hole right here. And remember I was telling you about it being pressurized? When I put this on, it pressurizes the inside of this. So air comes around this. And it pressurizes it, that's why it's called an air purge. Um, there's exert fitting on both the guns, right across from your air valve and it usually has a little cover on it grease the gun at the end of the day per Greco procedures other than that the main issues I've seen with this gun is basically the guys when it starts clicking they don't stop they keep on spraying and it causes more and more problems and what happens is you figure material is getting built around this, so it's binding up. As this binds up, it takes more pressure to push it back. If I'm holding it, it may take 30 pounds of pressure. All of a sudden, it slams back. Well, that material is still built up around it. When you release the trigger, it slams forward. forward. That's what's causing the popping sound or clacking sound a lot of people hear. <clears throat> On your spool or trigger assembly, there's three little O-rings. Those O-rings, when they become flat, the trigger leaks air. So it gets harder and harder for that piston because you're losing so much air going, it doesn't know whether to go forward or back. Uh, make sure those O-rings, when you look at an O-ring, make sure it's round, it's not flat. If it's flat, replace it. Um, this right here, when you slide in there, there's a hole down the center and there's two on the sides. Just make sure it's clean. Half the time, this, works fine. You'll feel it in the trigger if it starts messing up. Um, your safety cap, if you ever take this off and you work on the gun and you put your safety on and say this unscrews, this piece right here, you need to put Loctite on it when you tighten it down. Because when you turn this, you're turning this to go to safety, it needs to pop out. And if it keeps turning, you need to lock it because this could fall off. You won't be able to put the gun in safe mode. 